Hello Germany, Deutschland. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. My name is Orit, but you shall call me Dr. Orit because I'm going to be Germany's personal psychologist. I've been in Germany for close to two years. I came from Israel and before that the US. I'm the granddaughter of Holocaust survivors on my father's side. And it is very clear to me that Germany suffers from psychological problems. Now, I know you think everything's grand, everything is okay. Germany has dealt with World War II, has dealt with the Holocaust, has fessed up to its crimes, has grappled with the guilt, has overcome the guilt, but that's not the case. There are some ways that you think you have overcome and dealt with World War II and Holocaust guilt. You've built beautiful Holocaust memorials. But building Holocaust memorials is easy. Just take some concrete and stone and just hire some nice designers. You've welcomed into your land hundreds of thousands of refugees and non-refugees from Muslim countries and they are bringing in the kind of anti-Semitism that you claim to now be fighting and conquering. Israel critique, finding everything wrong with Israel. Oh, the Jews are now oppressing the Palestinians because if Israel is bad, then Germany's not so bad either. Now in therapy, a very important topic is researching your family history to understand what makes you tick. And most Germans and most German families have not done their family history on the Holocaust and World War II years. In many families, they are the silent years and that makes the guilt fester. So in this session, I'm going to offer you three steps to overcoming Holocaust guilt. Step number one, research family history. Hey Papa, ich bin sehr. Ja, nee, ich wollte dich mal was fragen. Das ist mir jetzt schon einige Zeit im Kopf und, ähm, und ich hab, wir haben eigentlich nie wirklich darüber gesprochen. Und okay, ich, ich komme jetzt einfach damit raus. Weißt du was, ob dein Vater, also mein Großvater, ob der irgendwas mit dem Holocaust zu tun hatte? Also irgendwie, ähm, wieso ich das frage? Einfach so, weil ich mich damit jetzt seit einiger Zeit beschäftige, weil ich Leute kennengelernt habe und ja. Und wo kann ich dann nachschauen? Also wir haben noch was am Dachboden oben. Kannst du mir da helfen, das rauszusuchen? Vielleicht nächstes Mal, wenn ich zu Besuch komme. Step number two, find a Jew and say you're sorry. Okay, there's something I wanted to talk to you about for a long time, but it's not so easy for me to talk about it because it's kind of... It's about the, the Holocaust and that I'm not pretty sure yet if I, my family was really involved, but I just want to say sorry. Sorry? You didn't do it, I mean... I know, but... It just feels like I have to say sorry for what my nation did to your nation and to your folks, and... Um... You know what? I really needed to hear that. Thank you. Huh. You didn't welcome. even realize. Wow. Step number three. Hug a Jew. Can I hug you? Yeah, of course. 